Mr. Watson here and in this video we're going to cover nurturing talents and specifically a comparison between um, China and the USA in their pursuit for excellence, in their pursuit for gold medals at the Olympics. So let's start with China and after the you know the videos we've been watching in lessons um, and for those that aren't at my school, the ones that are on the IOC and you, you look at the Beijing series that they have on there and there's heavy government involvement in the sport and um, with that involvement obviously the government make a lot of decisions and they put a lot of money into it. This money might go to facilities for specialist training centers, schools, um, etc. employing people to go and find um, the talent in the large area that China is. They also set up this structure <clears throat> in order how to get to the top. So the government have heavy involvement in China. Um, and with that is the regulation of athletes. Um, they basically choose what goes on. Once, they, once you're selected, and you'll see on one of my later points, you belong to the state. They will regulate the athletes and the sport organizations. They will decide the structure. The government will. So then we have specialist sports facilities. And as we'll have seen in them episodes, China will have their normal schools. Um, but then they started to create specialist sport facilities and specialist sport schools. Even the military have involvement and have sports facilities in China. Okay, so we've got the schools, we've got training camps. And like I said, once you've selected to go to one of these specialist schools, it's almost like you belong to the state because they do have control over the athletes. Okay, but this comes from finance of the government um, and they'll, they'll create these schools. And obviously in China, the large population, they make a lot of them, um, but still want to recover the mass pop, the mass um population and this is where we get into early talent identification now very big in china is selecting athletes from a very very young age and they put them through tough training regimes and this is where sometimes china are criticized for their human rights infractions and um, there are some stories out there about the gymnastic camps in china etc but the idea here is that in their pursuit for excellence they show elite elitist they they choose the best from a year a, a young age before children have had a chance to grow go through puberty they've already selected or decided these will be the athletes to take us forward and once you are selected you will go through tough training regimes and there's reports of even four-year-olds training for hours a day then the best of those from the schools from the specialist facilities they'll be selected and um, to compete uh, represent the region then the national team so there's a pathway from school specialist school region national olympic squad okay so there's a clear pathway and it does resort around elitist methods if we want the best forget about the rest also one point on china is that it's known to bring in the world's best coaches or try to model their systems at least there uh, this was evident in the way they went about football you know they started offering um, a lot of professional footballers, big money in order to move to China, in order to grow the reputation there. Um, football schools were starting to be developed in China. People would spend two or three hours in actual school playing football a day. Okay, So these are some key points of what China does in their pursuit for excellence. Now, originally it was suggested China would try to target sports that had low competitors in, but now that China have really emerged in this medal table. They pretty much are aiming to compete in all sports. So let's move on to the USA. And we'll start with the Lombardian ethic. Now, this links to that win at all costs. So this was a football player. Um, and yeah, he, he, he win at all costs was this thing. Okay. Now, what that does is it puts a... It creates an environment with how you coach. The result is more important than the long-term athletic development. Now, this is 
improved actually in USA, I do have to say. But this starts with this Lombardian ethic that even at the youth level, it's all focused about winning. It's not about the development of the children, okay? So it's again that elitist, that high level focus. You want to brag that your team wins the most games, okay? So win at all costs, it doesn't matter. We don't have patience for children to develop. We just want the best and we want them now. And the same goes on, um, which we'll talk about in a moment, the pathway through high school to college and um, then into the professional leagues. It's only the best that are getting these scholarships. So in the USA, high school and college sport is huge. It has a very high status. There's a scholarship system. You, from other countries, you can go. Sometimes you get a free ride. Um, it's called student athlete, but, you know, like I said, high school and college sports, sometimes they're going for just the athlete first because they know that will increase the reputation. It has high status, and they get large crowds to these events, especially in their main sports in the NFL, the basketball, things like this, um, the American football, sorry, I should say not the National League, they, they still get large crowds, okay? And them sports are actually the ones that fund a lot of the sporting system uh, in the USA. We know the, the amount of money the NBA generates, um, and this allows them to give more sponsorships and scholarships, etc. Specialised coaches are employed. You'll often find that, um, you know, in the UK, for example, myself, I'm employed as a physical education teacher, but I also might coach the football team or the basketball team, where in the USA it's quite common that because there's such a focus on winning and they want this pathway of getting to, into the Olympic squads, winning the medals, that they'll employ a specialised athletics coach and they won't be lecturing or teaching, they'll just be there to teach the athletics. And like I said, they have that pathway to excellence. Okay, so NBA scouts, other scouts, Olympic squads, um, the Olympic trials is big in the USA, um, trial season. So th there is a clear pathway um, moving through this system. And then we're going to talk about from the rags to the riches, or in other words, the American dream. Um, there is, it did get a lot better, there is the story that anyone can achieve. You know, you find a diamond in the rough and you shape them in. However, They'll only class you as that as if you you at least have the athletic the athleticism and then they'll shape you. But they do scout the whole region of America in order to have more chances of generating these Olympic athletes who can go and then win them gold medals. They introduced Title IX, the gender equality in sport. Um, and this helped, as we know, we talked about this in the um, role of women in the Olympics. America actually with the one of the countries who started sending larger women's squads in Title IX um, impacted this a lot, uh, making sure there was equal opportunities for women to participate in sport. As a result, we saw how many medals they were bringing home in Rio. Okay, So that's played a massive part in their pursuit for excellence, providing more opportunity for women. And actually there is some funding more than others from the USA National Olympic Committee uh, to support the athletes. Um, from that in order to help them. And then as I've mentioned with the NBA, NFL, sport is highly marketed in the USA. Even like going all the way down, this goes down to school level, like physical education is big in the USA and whether that just be play or recreation, they are trying to develop this active population to try and combat some of the obesity and from getting that mass participation, you will then be able to cherry pick or not not saying you should do that but um, they will cherry pick their elite talents and go to focus on the winning and just one comparison to China to finish with uh, it's important to note that there is a littler involvement a uh, smaller involvement um, the government that should say the government have littler involvement in comparison to China okay so that's just a very short video uh, highlighting some of the key um, methods uh, of the USA and China in their pursuit for excellence. Okay, thank you.